Hey nurses, Heather Lapidus here, registered nurse, board certified nurse coach, and co-founder of the Nurse Coach Collective. Thanks so much for joining me today. I'm so happy you're here. There is an amazing phenomenon happening right now. Now, generosity is very often in the nature of nurses. It's how we're wired. And yet, as uncertainty abounds, it's no secret that we're all being affected in some way. Daily life, as we know it, has been severely interrupted, and it's unclear when things might return to a sense of normalcy. So given all of that, one might suspect that most people would be walking around cursing the world. But the truth is, we're all being called to make incredible sacrifices right now. Businesses around the country are suffering tremendously. Employees are being sent home from work without pay. Essential workers are being required to stay overtime and stand on the front lines. Moms and dads everywhere are now homeschooling their kids and travel restrictions are being enforced and we're asked to distance ourselves from our loved ones. There's so much uncertainty. And indeed, there are a million reasons why right now people should be angry frustrated or fearful, yet so much of my experience has been the exact opposite. In fact, it's been nothing short of extraordinary. And this is why I say that an amazing phenomena is happening right now. Because generosity is abounding. Goodness is literally flooding out of humanity. So for this next week of Nurses Stand Strong, we're focusing on generosity. And in the spirit of this generosity, I wanna share a few stories from my life because kindness truly breeds kindness. So the first story I wanna share is about how people are making sacrifices to support others. Now, as you probably know, Peter, myself, and our company, The Nurse Coach Collective, we work with retreat centers from all over the country. And as a hospitality business, each of them have been greatly affected. National bans on gatherings means that these beautiful spaces have had to shut down entirely. And even still, each retreat center has offered us an enormous amount of generosity, waiving cancellation fees and being flexible in their contract terms. In a stressful time for us all, we've had to work together to find mutual arrangements to serve everyone. And in truth, it's been a wonderfully co-created process. Now the second story I wanna share is about how people are stepping up in unprecedented ways. Okay, so you probably don't know this about Peter, but he makes it a habit to lock himself in a small room with his band, they crank the amps up to 10, and he sings his heart out. In fact, they're almost done writing their next album. So they rent out a small room in a building with dozens of other musicians from all around the city. And as you can imagine, with nearly all venues closed right now, many musicians are already struggling to make ends meet. Never mind keeping their rehearsal spaces. But something truly amazing happened this week because the owner of the building sent out a message to all of the musicians who rent space from him. And here's what he said. All of you in our music community mean the world to me, and I want to do whatever I can to help. So I'm committing 100% of my salary and personal savings towards covering expenses so that our business can pay their bills and so that you all can stay put in your rehearsal spaces. And if you can honestly afford to pay rent as usual, please do so. But if you can't, let me know and we'll work out together to cover the costs. And I was floored. The warmest feelings came over me because that is the epitome of people taking care of one another. Now the third story I wanna share is about how communities are truly coming together like never before. With schools canceled and kids staying at home, some families are struggling to provide enough food for their children because these kids are accustomed to getting their meals while at school. So communities with only a few days notice are setting up food drops to ensure that these kids are all fed and cared for. Neighborhoods are organizing grocery store runs so that the high-risk individuals can stay put at home. And groups ranging from spiritual centers to yoga studios, they're hosting completely free online services so that they can continually provide value for their members. It takes only a dash of ingenuity to make these things happen, but the payoff is remarkable. Kids are fed, people are cared for, and communities grow stronger. 
and generosity spreads because we pass on what we receive. So myself, Peter, and the Nurse Coach Collective, we're also doing everything we can to model this same generosity that we've been receiving from others. Retreat centers have asked for advancements so that they can stay afloat, and we've obliged their request. Students have reached out to us for additional support and flexibility, and we've worked with them carefully and directly to make that happen. And people have turned to us as nurses and as leaders to offer direction in uncertain times. So we've stepped up. And you know what? It's felt extraordinarily good because that's the amazing thing about all of this. Being generous means giving your time, your energy, and your resources to others who may need it more. It's about being resilient no matter what your circumstances are and doing the right thing, even when the world seems to be falling apart. So those are some of our stories, just a few moments in our lives where we've noticed this abundance of generosity. So how about you? Love to hear your story, however big or small. Where have you experienced a moment of generosity in your life recently? Take a moment to drop us a comment below. Thanks again for being here. I'll see you soon.